Hi, I'm Amadeus from University of Massachusetts Amherst. I'm researching on blueberries by active compound. It's called Tero Silben, or let's just call him Peter. Peter has shown anti-diabetes, anti-inflammatory, and anti-carcinogenic effects thanks to its antioxidant properties. Talking about food science, this compound has a huge prospect in making functional food to ameliorate colon cancer. Why? Because the foods we eat would pass the colon to give the exposure, unlike injected drugs in contrast. However, Peter has limited solubility in water, which makes him difficult to be made available for the human body cells. Instead, he is lipophilic. He loves lipid. He loves fat, oil, and their friends. The logic is, if we incorporate lipid into the consumption of Peter, would Peter be dissolved, distributed, and available for absorption? This research simulates when the compound has reached the colon cancer cells. We use colorectal cancer cell, it's called CACO2, in a cell culture as a model. And then, we compare the supplementation of Peter himself with Peter and lipid. We use chylomicrons as the lipid form because it is a digested form of lipid in gastrointestinal tract. To know how the cell uptakes in each condition, we measure the concentration of Peter inside and outside the cell using HPLC. The results will show the amount of Peter absorbed by the cell in total and over time. From this research, we will know if Peter together with lipid can penetrate the cancer cells better than Peter alone. This research is one early step of a bigger map in figuring out how to maximize Peter's anti-cancer effect. The next steps would be testing it using animal models and human models. The information from this research would be fundamental in ameliorating colon cancer, especially for pharmaceutical and functional food development. Imagine blueberry granola bar, ice cream, milk, yogurt, it's unlimited. Aren't those fun ways to ameliorate colon cancer?